Legends of Ink, the influence of 1960s and 70s, comic book characters. In a world where superheroes are household names, let's journey back to the 1960s and 1970s. It was a time of change, of rebellion, and most importantly, a golden era for comic book characters. The birth of Spider-Man in 1962 marked a shift in the comic book landscape. He was a teenager with real-world problems, a relatable character, not just another invincible super-being. Jack Kirby and Stan Lee, the legendary creators at Marvel, introduced the world to the Fantastic Four. We saw a team that argued, laughed, and loved just like us. Then came the X-Men in 1963. Their battle for acceptance mirrored the civil rights movement, making them a cultural symbol of the time. In the realm of DC Comics, the 60s gave birth to the Justice League. Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman became an iconic trio that represented truth, justice, and the American way. A darker era dawned in the 70s, and with it came a new kind of hero. The Punisher, an anti-hero, represented society's disillusionment. Luke Cage, a hero for hire, broke racial barriers. He rose from the Harlem streets, giving a voice to the voiceless and a hero to the marginalized. Conan the Barbarian stepped onto the scene, representing the adventurous spirit of the 70s. A far cry from the traditional superhero, Conan struck a chord with the masses. From the depths of hell, Hellboy emerged. A demonic hero, he showed us that even the darkest origins can breed the brightest heroes. Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, taught readers that with willpower, there is no obstacle too great. His journey is a testament to the human spirit. Then there were the sidekicks, the Robins, the Jimmy Olsons, unsung heroes who exemplified courage in the face of danger, reminding us that heroes come in all sizes. The strange and whimsical Doctor Strange brought magic and mysticism into the mainstream, opening minds and expanding imaginations. Marvel's Black Widow emerged as a powerful symbol of female empowerment in a male-dominated world. The Incredible Hulk represented the inner turmoil we all face, painting a touching picture of the human condition. Silver Surfer, an alien with a conscience, taught us about sacrifice and the greater good. The era of the anti-hero continued with Wolverine, a brooding character with a tormented past. The Avengers formed, giving us a supergroup of heroes, each with their own unique strengths and weaknesses. In the world of comics, villains too hold an important place. The Joker, Lex Luthor, and Galactus, they were more than just adversaries. They were mirrors to our heroes and to society itself. The late 70s introduced us to Star Wars comics, merging our love for sci-fi and comics. As we look back at these influential characters, we realize their impact is more than just on the pages of a comic book. They have shaped our culture, our values, and our understanding of heroism. They've shown us that heroes come in all forms. In doing so, these characters from the 1960s and 1970s have become timeless, influencing generations of readers and creators alike. These are the legends of Ink, the characters that have inked their influence on our hearts, our minds, and our world. So here's to those heroes, sidekicks, and even villains who shaped our childhoods and continue to inspire us today. Our journey ends here, but the legacy of these characters lives on. Every turn of a page, every flicker of a screen carries their stories forward. So remember, never underestimate the power of a comic book character. In their stories, we find our own. In their battles, we find our strength. And in their victories, we find our hope.